everyone. Welcome to another hand yoga. I'm Alan, your hand yoga coach. I'm also a bioengineer. My wife and I founded Jamber because we are on a mission to improve your hand health because everyone deserves hands that feel great so that we can all do the things that we love to do. No matter whether you are young or old, it doesn't matter. We all deserve the same thing. All right, let's get started. First, a quick medical disclaimer. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a medical expert, therefore this is not medical advice. Now having said that, let's get started, shall we? Alrighty. Uh, first thing we, we want to do is we want to take off anything that would impede our movement, like my watch. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a warm-up. Now for the warm-up, you can put your hands in warm water, you can hold a warm drink and let the heat seep into your hands. And what we're really doing here is we're trying to get some heat, the kinetic energy to flow into our muscles and our tendons so that they have more elasticity, so they can move more easily with less discomfort or pain. And so that the exercises themselves are more effective. If you have a hand warming grippy, I put this in the microwave for two minutes and it is nice and warm and very relieving and I can squeeze it. And you'll hear me talk about grip strength quite a bit because grip strength is so important. Anyways, I'm gonna squeeze it. This is also imparting heat into my hands. And if you don't have any of these things, and links to all this stuff are down below. If you don't have anything like that, then let's just open and close our hands for a few moments together. And this will warm them up and get them ready for the exercises. And we're gonna end this hand yoga session with a nice therapeutic hand massage at the end, a five minute hand massage. Alrighty, so our hands are nice and warmed up and loosened. Now let's begin, shall we? The first thing we're going to do is motorcycle. Motorcycle is a good wrist stretch. What we're going to do is we're going to close our fists, we're going to put our thumbs underneath our hands, and we are going to go down. And you're going to feel the stretch right up through my wrist into my forearm. Now take a deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. All right, very good. Now up, we open our hands and we go up for the opposite stretch. Breathe in, breathe out. And now down, breathe in. And if you're new to this and you get a finger cramp on this particular part of the stretch, it's okay, it's fairly common. Just let your fingers relax and the uh, cramp will go away. Breathe out and up, breathe in, breathe out. And down, breathe in, breathe out. Alrighty, very good. Next thing we're gonna do is thumb wave. Thumb wave is a great thumb stretch, especially if you've got thumb arthritis, you wanna move this joint. So what we're gonna do for thumb wave, is we're gonna bring our fingers together and we're gonna now stretch out our thumb across like this and we're gonna do three sets, ready? My thumb is uh, stretching in this direction. So nice stretch. Breathe in, breathe out. And now swing your thumbs across and touch, right? Touch. You want to touch your hand under your pinky, right? And really feel that stretch. Breathe in, breathe out. All right, now wide. Breathe in, breathe out. Pinky side again, breathe in, breathe out. One more time, wide, breathe in, breathe out, and pinky side. Breathe in, breathe out. Alrighty, very good everyone. Next we're gonna do jazzy hands, jazzy hands. And with this, what we're doing is we're really focusing on a whole hand stretch, okay? So jazzy hands, we start off and we're gonna actually have our fingers and our thumbs tight together. So I'm literally squeezing my fingers and my thumb together. Ready, squeeze, breathe in, breathe out through your mouth. And now open nice and wide. I want to really open my fingers. My thumb is stretching. I feel it here in my palm. I feel the tendon stretching. Breathe in. Breathe out. And tight. Breathe in. 
breathe out. Already great. Wide, breathe in. Breathe out. And tight, breathe in. Breathe out. And last one, wide, breathe in. Really feel that stretch. Breathe out. All right, now we're gonna do a little fatiguing exercise. So let's shake out our hands. And now we're gonna open and close them just a few times, maybe for uh, 10 seconds or so. It doesn't have to be fast. We really wanna open and close and stretch those tendons. All right, if you have something to, to squeeze, squeeze it. So again, this is my hand warming grippy. If you don't have one, you could use a towel or a face cloth or a, you know, a pair of pants or a shirt, something just that's soft that you can squeeze. And when you squeeze, you want your forearm and your wrist to be aligned, really squeezing. And I'll talk about grip strength and squeezing a lot because it's a very important metric of your overall health. All righty? Now let's go to the last two exercises. So we're gonna do what's called sticky fingers. And I love sticky fingers. It's a great hand stretch. It's good for strength training. It's also good for hand coordination. So this is, we're going to do two sets of it. So sticky fingers is this. Ready? We're going to start off with a nice wide open hand for a good stretch. And I'm going to bring my index finger down to my thumb. I'm going to press. I'm going to press it down hard. My other fingers are far back. So I'm really doing a good stretch. It might feel awkward if you're new to this, but it's a great hand stretch. Ready? Squeeze my index finger and other fingers back. Breathe in. Breathe out. All right, great. Up for the stretch. Middle finger, I'm pressing down. My other fingers are far back. Breathe in. Breathe out. And up for the stretch. Ring finger, I'm pressing down. My other fingers are far back. Breathe in. Breathe out. And up for the stretch. Pinky finger, ready? Press down, and my other fingers far back. Breathe in. Breathe out. And up for the stretch. One more set, guys. You can do this. Ready? Index finger. Press down. Other fingers are far back. Breathe in. Breathe out. And up. And middle finger pressing down. My other fingers are far back. Breathe in. Breathe out. And up for the stretch. Ring finger, you can do it. I'm pressing down, my other fingers are far back. Breathe in. Breathe out. And up. And pinky finger. So again, press down, other fingers are back. Breathe in. Breathe out. And up. For the stretch, great everyone, shake them off. Now, we're, we've left last, the best for last. Best for last, everyone, my favorite exercise. So you wanna just get your hands ready. You could do a quick shoulder roll, you could do a neck twist, a, a back. You could just kind of do a whole body move. Now we're gonna do what's called climbing hands. We're gonna do two sets of climbing hands. This is my favorite exercise. It's also known as a tendon glide. You guys ready? Let's do it. We start with our hands open and wide. And now we go down for the finger curl. I curl all my fingers and my thumb just like this. Ready? Breathe in. Breathe out. Feels good, doesn't it? And up for a good stretch. And now down for a full fist. My thumbs are up. My fingers are tightly wound in there, nice and tight. Breathe in. Breathe out. Alrighty, up for a nice stretch, then down to a flat fist. And you'll see my fingers are flat against my palm and they're low, they're low against my palm. My thumbs are out. Breathe in, breathe out. And up for the stretch. You guys are doing great. One more to go. Make this one count everyone. This is our last one, you ready? Finger curl, here we go. Really curl them in, take a deep breath in through your nose. Out through your mouth. Very good. Now up, feel that stretch. Down for the full fist. My fingers are curled in, my thumbs are up. Breathe in. 
Deep breath, breathe out. And up for the, for the stretch. And we're gonna end it with the flat fist. Breathe in. Breathe out. And up. You guys did it. Now we're gonna do a cool down. Cool downs are very important, just like the warm up. Let's shake off our hands. And now we're gonna do open and close as fast as we can. Really try to move your fingers, ready? Up and down as fast as you can, everyone, just for a few seconds. Very good, it should be easier. It should feel easier than it did in the beginning because our hands are warmed up and stretched. All right, now if you have something to squeeze, like the hand warming grippy, and especially if it's warm, now it would feel really great, you could squeeze it. So again, I'm keeping my forearm and my, my uh, wrist Fist aligned, properly aligned, squeeze it, already. All right, great. So now we're gonna do the hand massage. We're gonna try to make this a five minute hand massage. If you have oil, you can pause and go get it, oil or an oil moisturizer or a lotion, we recommend um, organic olive oil hand massage therapy, which is this right here. You, it's very important to lubricate your hands because we don't wanna damage our skin as we're massaging our hands. And as a uh, biochemical engineer, I want to be, I tend to be very aware of what we're putting on our skin. The olive oil, especially organic olive oil is wonderful because it's antioxidant, so it's anti-cancer. It is uh, full of vitamins, A, D, E, and K. It's moisturizing. There are even studies showing that it is antibacterial. It's amazing stuff, right? It's amazing stuff. So that's why we, we sell and suggest organic olive oil. All right, so here we go, the hand massage. Ready guys? We're gonna start here and we're gonna do a rub up and down from this point up to this, these spots. These are called your MCP joints, metacarpal sandal joints, or kind of your knuckles things. And we're basically going up and down the imaginary tendon line. And you wanna be firm and we're looking for sore spots. Right? We're looking for scar tissue, we're looking for knots of any kind. And if you find something that's sore, work on it. Work on it, you wanna really get in there and rub it out. If you have a trigger finger, for example, and you'll feel that little bit of um, scar tissue in the sheath, you could find it and you can rub it out, up and down, side to side. So you wanna go in circles, do the other hand as well. So straight lines up to my MCP joints for each finger. And I'm going pretty hard. And I wanna really get in there and rub, rub it. All right, do it circles, feels great. Now we're gonna do the thumb webbing. So I wanna see where my index finger bone and my thumb bone come together. And now I can squeeze and slide squeeze and slide. So really get in there and work your thumb webbing. This is a trigger point. In fact, if you stop halfway, and I'm pressing on the other side, and just press for a minute, that's the trigger point. And that releases all kinds of pain, headache pain, tooth pain, lower back pain, hand pain, of course. So just get in there and massage the webbing. And if you are at home watching TV, it's a good time to do this hand massage and a great time to do the thumb webbing. All right, so really getting in there, really rubbing that thumb webbing. Feels great. You'll find generally that one hand, your dominant hand is more sore than your non-dominant hand. Alrighty, and now we can do the sides of our fingers. And so the sides of our fingers need attention. So we're gonna squeeze it, kind of rub and pull all the way down to the fingertip, each finger. And if you come across a joint that is sore, focus on it, rub the joint out. Um, if, you have, if you're having an arthritic, no, a rheumatoid arthritic flare up, then you probably don't wanna rub the joint when it's uh, RA, but otherwise, if you get a sore joint, you can really focus on it and rub it and rub some of the pain away. All right, so I'm doing every finger one at a time. Every finger. All right, it feels great. And I can then do here, this is my metacarpals. I can do metacarpal channeling. So basically the gaps between my metacarpals. I can just get in there and rub right down. So I'm rubbing between the bones, the metacarpal bones. And oh, it feels wonderful. I can really get in there and really get some of my upper hand pain and stress and tension and just rub it away. Feels great. Um, if, if you find this to be a little too aggressive for your hand, then a little more passive way to do this is to lay your hand down and put your fingers like that, rub right down like so. Finally, we're gonna do our forearm. Get in there and just rub the forearm. This is your elbow, these are your epicondyle bones and right below there's a spot with like your tendon and your muscle. Just get in there and rub it all the way down, it feels great. Um, often this is secretly sore. So you really wanna get in there and massage and hydrate those muscles. Other side, other side. Feels great, doesn't it? Alrighty, alrighty, and that's 
And that's it. We did it. Nice, quick hand yoga session and hand massage. Um, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to our YouTube page. You can click the red button and then click the bell and you'll get alerts whenever we post new videos. And please tell your friends. We've got this class, we've got other free classes. And we also, not only do we offer free classes for better hand health, we also invent or find products that will also help your hand health. This is the Zen Grip Mug. It is designed, two and a half years of research, designed to be easy to hold for your hand. No thumb needed. It's gonna have whole hand natural hand position. It's got a stability kickstand, so it makes drinking easy, easy and natural. The hand warming grippy, same thing. It's designed to be easy and therapeutic, right? It goes in the freezer, it goes in the microwave. You can squeeze it for better grip strength. Uh, same thing with the olive oil. Anyways, you can see links below. We have all kinds of stuff, all made for better hand health. With that, thank you everyone. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And remember, keep moving your hands. Motion is lotion when it comes to hands. Bye everyone. Have a great, great day.